Good morning. We're standing here on South Street, just on the southern edge of Cookfield Village. Uh, literally round behind me there, under the old monkey puzzle tree, is the start of the picturesque village High Street. So you've got the shops and so on there. Um, the village, a very bustling village, there's lots of history to Cookfield. And I'm about to show you around this middle part of the old courthouse. Um, Cookfield was an independent state. And back in the 1800s, there was talk of... Um, than bringing a railway line down from Brighton, or uh, down from London, all the way through to Brighton, and the Sargeson, or as, as the old myth goes, the Sargeson family who owned Cookfield Park and all the uh, local land, uh, they didn't want a railway station. And if you look at the railway line that comes out of London, it actually goes round Cookfield, and they stuck the station in Hayward Heath nearby. Um, so lots and lots of history. This particular property, um, these built, this building dates from 1845. And I'm told it was the original Mid-Sussex Law Courts, but when uh, the railway came and they uh, changed it from a town to village status, they, um, it was downgraded, so it couldn't be the uh, Mid-Sussex County Court anymore. And because it's been the arms houses, it's been the drill hall for, for the army in the World War I, and lots of history. And it was all converted back in about uh, 19, uh, in the 1960s into three houses. So I'm gonna show you around them in a moment. So one thing I should have pointed out, this is the old cattle trough. Now that up until, God, probably 20 years ago I can remember, did have running water in it every day. And again, Cookfield, bags of history. If you um, go follow up Ockenden Lane, we're next door to the Ockenden Manor Hotel, which is right there. You've got access into the village park, just at the top of the lane there. And we're backing on to the old Cookfield Park estate and you'll see all of that in a moment. So come and have a look at the old courthouse. Now the property, as mentioned, was converted in the 1960s. It's been owned by the same person all that time. Sadly, they've passed away and we're now selling the property on behalf of the executors. So what you see now is a 1960s converted house. Um, it does obviously want updating, but you'll see the character in here and the potential is endless. So first things first, the front room. Is this the dining room? Is this the living room? Use it as you wish. You'll see in a second, we've got a really lovely living room at the back. Um, there's a gas fire here. Now the property is grade two listed, um, hence why there's no EPC. You don't need an EPC when you have a listed property. Um, so uh, I, I don't know for sure, don't quite hold me to this, but when you refurbish a listed property, you used to be able to save the VAT on all the work costs. Um, but obviously when you do do works, you need listed building consent. But I think internally, You'd need to look at the listing to see why it's listed. I think it's listed because it's very much historical. Um, the neighbour tells me that uh, obviously this, this building was built in 1845, but before that, there was a pub on this site and, there, and it never used to be called Ockenden Lane. It used to be called Alehouse Lane or Brew, Brew House Lane from what we can gather. So that's a bit of history for the locals I never knew. Now the back room, they've got this as the living room. You've got a fireplace here. Obviously there's chimneys beautiful back garden. Now we're facing west at the back, so we're here in the winter. You'll see this beautiful magnolia and all this blossom coming up on the neighbour's trees, but very much a cottage style garden. So a nice living room at the back. And then the kitchen. I'm going to take you out through the kitchen in a moment, but again, an original 60s kitchen with the four mica tops. All these cabinets are fantastic. And if you can, don't let some builder come in and just rip them out and throw them in a skip or don't let them go and sell them because there's a lot of people that love all this retro stuff nowadays. So that's the downstairs, come upstairs. Now we've got three and a half bedrooms up here and I'll explain what I mean when I get there in a moment. But um, at the back, you've got what is the main bedroom. Got a fabulous big, Big bedroom here. And again, this one's overlooking the rear garden. The fireplace is there. There's panelling of that. So I guess that's been sort of covered over probably back in the 60s. So hopefully there could be a rather lovely fireplace behind there. But as you can see, the detail in this, I'm not sure if that is stone that's been painted or timber, but could be spectacular. But look at these ceiling heights. Aren't they wonderful? And then this one, this is the half bedroom. This is either the little cot bedroom, as you can see, that a single bed in here. But this could be a great little dressing room or an ensuite to the main bedroom. And that's overlooking the rear garden. You've got the sash windows everywhere. Obviously a lot of refurbishment work needed, but it's very much priced accordingly. I should have said to you actually, that view through there 
Um, we've got a garage down the bottom of the garden with a room over it, which make a fantastic home office. And the views, it's a real shame, because it's a bit misty down there. But you're looking all the way through to the South Downs. That's sort of the top of the, uh, you can just about see the uh, shadow of the South Downs in the distance there. So spectacular. And like I say, southwest facing. So that's the main bedroom. Another cupboard here. There's attic, an attic space as well. Um, back bathroom. Great big bathroom. I mean, this could be fantastic. You could almost, again, if you really wanted to, you could almost make this a little on or split this in two, make an ensuite to that bedroom and still have a little bathroom in this section. So I've seen works like that done quite often. Now, Cookfield, if you don't know much about it, this was one of the big towns in the area. So way before Haywards Heath, Cookfield was the big town. It's an independent state. It goes back over 100 years. There's lots of traditions in the village. There's even the mayor's procession and they take a penny vote. So they take bribes to be who's going to be the next mayor of the state of Cookfield. So they maintain the fact that they're an independent state. But lots going on. There's a fabulous village primary school. Uh, called Holy Trinity, and also you've got with a home of Warden Park Secondary Academy, which is one of the best of the secondary schools in the area. We're rather lucky. Looking out the front here, we're just looking over the gardens of the houses on Ockenham Lane, and over in the distance, those are the rooftops of the houses on the back of the high street, so very much in the heart of the village. Great big cupboard in this one. And then let's take you down the garden. This is where, in my opinion, it gets much more interesting. Lucky character home, but obviously the back end. Now, I've been an estate agent here for 35 years, and I've never been in any of these houses, so I'm absolutely thrilled to come and see them. So, come down the garden. Now, as mentioned, this back garden, we're sort of southwest facing here, very much a gardener's garden, so it's got all these raised planters. The neighbour was also telling me when it was um, uh, the drill house next door that was all covered over that was a long garden building so they've opened all that up but you've got this beautiful wall which was part of the building and this garden it's all raised as you can see you've got a brick wall all the way along here so if you're a keen gardener you'll absolutely love this and at the end of the garden for those gardeners you've got this lovely old brick paved pathway you've got a potting shed that's the first of your outbuildings again needs a bit of love a bit of attention but spectacular little potting shed for someone if you want it and then for me being a bloke that likes to put stuff in garages this building is yours so let me show you from the gateway so we have an access a right of access up the back lane we believe the back lane is actually owned by the neighbor so this comes out of the bottom of south street so just beyond parkview court there's a little lane that comes up the back of all these houses on south street the land all behind us here is the cookfield park estate the grounds beyond are the gardens of Ockenden Manor. It's rather spectacular. If you don't know Ockenden Manor, come and have lunch there. Absolutely lovely. It's a spa hotel. They've got a gym there and a swimming pool. So this carpool is actually your adjoining neighbour's house, but the detached garage next door, this is yours. So look. So not only have we got a garage with an electric door, so that's rather modern. So a nice dry garage here. But then upstairs, we've got a gof an office. Now, if you've ever walked up a spiral staircase, the trick is to face outwards. Easier to walk up. So up here, you get an idea of the gardens and the other cottages. There's loads of history around this old part. This is very much the ancient part of Cookfield. And then look at this. Now, this is a solid floor. So whether that was an old solid roof and they put a roof above it, but this could be a great home office. Um, I think they've had gym mats in here, so use it as a gym. Uh, rather treacherous set of doors, but that's looking back over Cookfield Park and way over to the south and southwest to the South Downs. But there you go. That is the old courthouse off Ockenden Lane in Cookfield. It's for a sale through Mansell McTaggart. It's steeped in history. It is an executor's sale and we're just awaiting the probate, but I'm told that that is on its way. Uh, but if you're after a character home and you're prepared to put a bit of investment in, you could have one of the most important houses in the village and it could be absolutely spectacular. I hope you found this video helpful. Any feedback, please give it to the team in Cookfield. So we're trying out these videos to see what people think and we're really keen for your, your comments on it. But thanks very much for watching. If you're interested, please contact Mansell McTaggart in Cookfield and do subscribe to our YouTube channel as these properties are all live on there way before they're on Rightmove. Thanks for watching.